well. Now, performance-wise, this phone has that Apple 8 11 Bionic chip inside of it, a hexa-core CPU, and 3 gigs of RAM. Now, this is probably my favorite thing about this phone because, in my opinion, I have had an insanely good experience with this type of phone in terms of the performance, and it was one of those reasons why I kind of went back to it when I bought an iPhone 11 Pro, mainly because it was still more than capable, you know? When I have a phone like the iPhone 10, and I even compare it to something like an iPhone 12 Pro that I use as a main device right now, I see differences, you know, I see things like the app opening speeds but in terms of a day-to-day -day use I would not be able to tell a humongous difference I would be able to tell some differences maybe in some other areas but I think for a day-to-day -day task you know things that I do on a daily basis reply back to texts open you know FaceTime calls and snapchats and all this stuff I'm not, I'm not really gonna notice that big of a difference if I use a phone like an iPhone 8 plus maybe I would notice a bigger difference because the home button but because we are still using the gesture based design on a phone like an iPhone 10 you're not really going to notice too many differences in my opinion so day-to-day -day tasks you're definitely going to be okay with it but even when you step up and do some gaming on a phone like this i think you're going to have a good experience too like this is a pretty compelling gaming phone now i would not say this is like the best gaming phone of 2017 or anything but for like i said before for pretty much everything you're going to do with a phone this is going to be able to handle it by far now there's a couple of caveats i think maybe the biggest problem in terms of the performance and it's not really a huge one but maybe it's the ram management phones like the iphone 12 pro with six gigs gigabytes of RAM with twice the amount of RAM as this will definitely get you a better performance overall. So that's a kind of a big thing to keep in mind, but that doesn't necessarily mean that this phone is any slower just because those phones are newer. It just means that those phones are more capable. But if you don't need all that capability, a phone like this is still going to be perfectly fine as I stated before. So in terms of the performance, thumbs up for me times 10. The performance on this phone, I think, is still perfectly fine for the price that you're paying for and for it being a 2017 phone for sure. So in terms of the performance, that pretty much covers it up. Now here